Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to teach you present continuous passive in English. But first of all, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification alarm and like this video. Let's see. What is present continuous passive in English and the difference between passive of this tense and the active ones? So please watch this video till the end. Now let's first look at the definition of this uh, tense. Uh, um, actually, present uh, continuous passive uh, means something is being done by someone at the moment. And we use a passive voice when the focus is on the action and not on who or what is preferring the action. So uh, in the first word, it actually means um, we, we actually like uh, just like other passive tenses. Uh, and uh, present continuous passive is no exception because uh, in this uh, tense, we actually don't talk about the object, uh, subject, sorry, we therefore who or what. Now let's look at the structure of it. It's completely simple. Uh, the structure is really simple. You, all you have to do is should, you should use object with uh, your am, uh, am, is, or with being and past participle. So instead of use as other passive tenses, uh, you should, we actually don't have a subject. The object is the thing you should use. We have object with am, is, or, uh, or, or to be verbs, with being with past participle. And the negative form is completely simple. You should just all you have to do is just you should just add not after your uh, am is or object with am is or not with being with past participle. And the question form is you should actually use your to be verbs like am is or with object with being past participle. So remember that the agent is unknown in these tense. We don't know who or what is the agent. For example, an email is being written by our social team. An email is our object, is, is our to be verbs, being written is the past participle from the write, write, wrote, written. We use the passive to emphasize the subject. I myself am being held captive here. We use the passive to talk about general truth. For example, the man is always being told what to do by his sister. The man is our object, is is our to be verbs, always is as an adverb of course. Being told is our past participle forms of tell. Tell, told, told. And by his sisters, his sister is our subject. And by, uh, if you want to know how to use by in passive uh, tenses, you can watch the previous videos about simple present passive. We can use the passive if, if we want to be unclear or vague about the subject. For example, something that we can't define is being mishandled by an uh, intruder. We use the passive when the subject is irrelevant. We don't care who or what has caused the action to be. For example, his subject is being widely discussed by many historians all over the world. It's completely clear. We use the passive in a more formal atmosphere like a thesis or an important piece of writing, especially uh, scientifically speaking. For example, uh, harmful chemicals are being thrown into the field every day. 
So uh, the the reason why I actually explain about these points because they are really really clear and simple. So uh, you can watch this video over and over again and don't forget to please 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 do different exercises uh, in about this tense and of course uh, you should actually do different exercises about all tenses and all things about uh, this language and about this tense is no exception so now let's see the difference between active uh, tense of these tense whereas the passive ones for example the postman is delivering the mail the postman is our subject is is our to be verbs delivering is our verb as you may know in the present continuous verb we have subject with to be and is are with ing forms of our verb but in the passive as i told you we have object our object is the male we have to be verbs is being delivered past participle forms of delivered 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 harry potter is measuring the room harry potter is our subject is our to be verb measuring is our verb and the forms of the passive of descent is the room is our object is to be verbs being measured by Harry Potter by Harry Potter is our subject. The coach is congratulating the team at the moment. The coach is our subject, is our to be verbs, congratulating is our verb. And the passive forms of this sense is uh, the team, because the team is our object, is our to be verbs being congratulated is our past participle forms of, uh, forms of uh, congratulate. Are they opening the gifts now? Are they, are they opening? Or is our to be verb? They is our subject. Opening is our verb. And the passive forms of it is are the gifts being opened by the team? Are is our to be verbs. The gifts is our object. Being opened past participle forms of open that's it it's all about uh present continuous passive in english if you have any question please write below this video don't forget to follow me on social media like instagram twitter and my telegram channel don't forget to watch active tenses and um, simple present passive and this video over and over again and of course, in the near future, I will definitely make uh, other videos about these tense passive. Uh, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and turn on notification alarm. Stay tuned. Thank you and goodbye.